just spit. Beautiful. That's attractive. That's why all the men want me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be watching a couple try-on hauls from Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers. I haven't done one of these videos in a while because Anna has been going through some surgeries on her legs, so she hasn't made any videos like this, but they are one of my favorite videos to make because I just love to see the style choices that Anna makes. She, sometimes she'll put an outfit together that's just a home run, and then sometimes it's kind of like, girl, what were you thinking? So today the hauls are coming from Walmart and Old Navy. I'm pretty excited to see what she's picked out. So ready? Let's go. Today we're doing another Walmart haul. See, I was looking for plus size clothing online and it kept suggesting me Walmart. And I was like, okay, I love Walmart, love to shop there. So I bought a whole bunch of pieces. I thought I would show you guys how these things fit on plus. I think they are super dope. <laughs> so hopefully you will too. With that, let's get into it. I mean... It's rose, it's a little gothic. You just need like a good choker with it and maybe some space buns and you are living your, oh gosh, what's that movie? Empire Records dream. Like this is a dress I would see one of the girls at Empire Records would wear. Maybe more like a spaghetti strap, but still. I love this dress, I think it's super cute. But I did two things to style it better with this look. I decided I liked having more of a mesh coverage around my legs. It made my compression look more intentional. So what I did is I separated this like tank part from the mini dress and then I just tucked it in here. So that way it looks like it was a purposeful choice to wear tights with this versus like uh, something I have to live with, which is also true. <laughs> so yeah, you can, if you're intentional with styling, you can literally make anything work. You just have to think about incorporating it in the outfit instead of just like, begrudgingly wearing it with something you'd already wear. Yeah, so like I said, Anna had some surgeries on her legs and because of that, she is having to wear these compression stockings or leggings. And like she said, I kind of feel like it looks good with those. The dress looks good with those. It, look, it looks like it's meant to be worn that way. Um, I think it's a cute dress. It's kind of, I'm kind of surprised that Anna picked this because she's usually not one to wear like such muted colors. She loves bright and things that are going to make her stand out in a crowd. But I think this is pretty flattering on her. I wish the sleeves were a little bit longer, but the cut of the dress looks nice on her. So I think it's a winner. I feel like if you like purple, you like really like purple. And then like as you age, it becomes your personality, which I'm not against because I think people who love purple are always just very lovely people. <laughs> You have a lot of older women I've met that are just darling. Don't worry, it's not just for older people. I think purple is a universally loved color. But I really liked this because this was a play on purple I hadn't seen. Again, with that kind of grungy era vibe. I love this, it's long. The slits make this work great if you're getting your legs bandaged. I know that's a very niche community, but I thought I would point it out. Again, I need to size down. This is just, it should be taught and I feel, should feel supported here and I, <laughs> I don't, but very pretty like I would again totally get this just in a size smaller I kind of disagree here I don't think the problem is that she needs a size smaller if you look at the model picture it seems like this is how the dress is supposed to fit or else maybe like the size has nothing to do with it that's just how it's gonna fit which sucks because it is a pretty cute dress but I mean who wants to feel like things are gonna fall out at any moment I also didn't really like the back view of the dress it's not very flattering at all so while I like the pattern of the dress the color of the dress the idea of the dress I also like the side slits I don't think this is a good dress for her but this is awesome. It's a black base with some red details that outline big roses. If you haven't picked up on it yet, this theme has a very heavy roses undertone, which I feel like it's time for the rose to have a comeback. So you have, okay, I love this set. I actually really like how it's working with my tights. Sometimes it can be a bit unusual. All I did is I just rotated the seam so that the side seam where the slit was, was a little bit more over my leg. And I feel like it makes the tights feel intentional. Let me know if you like it too, because I'm I'm a little bit obsessed with this one. I think it looks so cute. But yeah, this is a great deal. This is probably one of my favorite things in this haul because I just think it looks 
It looks rad. I agree with her on the tights. I think it does make it look like they are intentional, and I do like how they look. Um, one of Anna's problem areas is probably her knees. So the tights kind of like make it so your eye isn't drawn to that area. And I do, I like the idea of this outfit, but I just feel like it's not going to be very practical because I just feel like anytime she moves, she's going to be tugging at that top, trying to pull it back down where it's supposed to go. And between that and the sleeves, she's going to, you know, she's going to be tugging at the sleeves to pull them back down. I just feel like it's going to be kind of like an uncomfortable dress. But as far as like cuteness wise, I do think it is cute. I think it's a cute outfit. I don't know if this set is going to work for me because I am much different on the bottom than I am on the top and it is sold as a set. But this is a really cute cargo sweatpant here at the bottom, just in black. And the reason I think it might not fit is this is a tube top and it is, it does look pretty big, um, that matches it and you buy it as a set. I actually think this is really cute, but the top is definitely on the bigger side. I'm actually a little concerned it's going to fall down, but we're going to keep an eye on it so that doesn't happen. But I would say if you're similarly, 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 I don't even think I've said it right there, but that word sized <laughs> in the top and the bottom, this is actually a really cute set. It's very comfortable. It's very nice. It feels good. It's just, again, I have that ratio difference that makes buying things sold in a set a little bit more challenging for me. Uh, this one, I'm not really feeling. <laughs> she says that the top is too big, but at the same time, it's, I think it's supposed to cover her stomach. I mean, at least that's how it looks like on the model. And I feel like that would look better just because, I don't know, it gives kind of like the idea of it being a jumpsuit, which I think is pretty cute. But the way that she's wearing it, I just, I don't think it looks that good. It's not flattering. Like I said, she's not really one to wear a whole lot of black, so I can't really see her like grabbing for this outfit very often. I feel like it would probably just sit in her closet. So this one's a no for me. This next look is a look for like middle school Anna. This is what she wanted to wear. This is what she could never find as a little thickums. So I'm so grateful that this exists. And I'm gonna wear it. I don't care how old I am. I'm gonna do what I want. You know why? Because I can, because the only one who makes decisions in my life is me. And you can have all the opinions you want about it, but it doesn't matter because I get to do whatever I want. I'm an adult with a credit card. Huh. So we've got some cargo like pants, joggers, but they're made out of twill. The top is really the pest of resistance of this entire haul. Because if you saw this, you know, 20 years ago, it will look familiar because I'm pretty certain this shirt was for sale. <laughs> well, this dream is staying in middle school. These pants do not work for me at all. They are very low rise. This is where my pant, I would like it to sit, maybe in between where the compression comes up and where they are. Um, the back, they're, my butt cracks to there. <laughs> Additionally, they're kind of short. So um, this was a teenage fantasy and it's gonna remain a teenage fantasy. Yeah, besides not fitting, it's just, it's not my favorite on her. I just, I feel like it doesn't really fit her vibe. Like, Anna's casual clothes are still usually very, they have a certain look to them. She loves an anthropology top and bottom set or a jumpsuit or romper. And this just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like her. So even if it fit, I would probably have to give it a no. This is another midi dress, which I love. Again, a floral and rose theme, this time in a lovely teal. I love how long this is because it literally does fully cover my tights. Ah! Um, it is a bit big here on the top, so I would actually size down because this mesh is like really stretchy. Um, I did do a size up from what I normally wear because no boundaries is like juniors plus. But honestly, I think you could probably buy your same size. I actually liked this dress on her better than the other dresses that she tried on. It does seem like she needs a smaller size because you can see in this picture, it's not very supportive on the top. It doesn't really cover a whole lot. Also, you can see in this picture, the back doesn't look that great. However, the only bad thing about that is if she does size down, it seems like there's a good chance the dress is going to get shorter on her, which kind of sucks because I do like the length, like she said. But overall, I think it's a super cute dress. I like the print and the colors. 
Just because I know not all of you love patterns, I did pull that same dress in black just to show you a different option. So I'm literally just showing the exact same dress, but in black for those of you who are more comfortable in black, because I think it's like a $15 dress, if I recall. It doesn't have the prices on here, but yeah, I think it's like 15 bucks. And my thought that this is a really solid $15 dress. Okay, so this is the black version of that same dress. Again, I'm showing you both. And just to give you an idea of what I was talking about, it being a little bit too loose, it's just not holding my chest. It's covering it, but it's not holding it. And I would like a little bit more mm there, if you know what I mean. So still very cute though. Love the cut, love the length. Just need a different size. Um, the black one's okay. I do like the floral print one better. And like I said, with another outfit, I just don't see her grabbing for this dress. She has a ton of other black dresses that fit her better and are more flattering on her. So this one I'm just kind of like meh on. It's, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just kind of boring to me on her anyway. This last piece, I don't know if it's going to work for me. I'm going to hope it does. But it is, does come as a set. So it comes with a white kind of baby tee. We love a baby tee. We love that she's back again, that era. And these are sweatpant overalls. And I hope these look fantastic on me because this is what I want to be in in recovery. It kind of looks like real clothes, but it's really just sweatpants. Okay, this set has some really big highs and some really big lows. First, the sweatsuit like overall situation big win i am 100 percent keeping this this is great for post-surgery because it's very soft and comfortable and will move with me if my body's swollen but it also looks kind of cool like if i saw somebody wearing this i wouldn't think like sloppy i would think cute you know comfortable and cute which is my vibe the shirt to me is very soft definitely could be worn with something else but it's a bit short for the overalls it's not actually tucking into the side for me that's a big problem because as you guys can see i've got compression gear so everything I'm wearing right now I really am thinking about is it going to cover that side section if you don't care then it's the perfect look it is sold as a set so either way you're going to get both pieces but honestly I would buy it just for the overalls they are prime I really love this outfit I do feel like she needs to go up a size in it if she's saying that the shirt is too small to me it looks like the overalls are too tight so I feel like one size up might look better, but I love the color. I'm a sucker for green. I love wearing green. It's my favorite color and it does look really comfortable. But like we've seen in the past, what always happens when Anna tries to wear a romper, a jumpsuit, overalls, anything that is like a one piece outfit, it usually does not fit her right. Just, you know, she previously said the shape of her body. The top is not the same size as the bottom. So I don't know why, but she always, likes to buy these one piece outfits <laughs> and they in my opinion they never look right but I like the outfit just not on her at least not this size anyway okay so that was a Walmart haul now we are going to see an old navy haul Today we are doing a little bit of a smaller Old Navy haul. I found some things that I thought were really cute that I wanted to try and I thought I'll just share them with you guys. You ever put something in your cart and you're like, why did I put this in my cart? Like what possessed me? Um, this is definitely one of those items for me. <laughs> Let's talk about why I have no clue I put this in my cart. It's a weird length. It is beige. <laughs> and beige is my mortal enemy. Uh, I'm just not, I'm not a good eater in beige clothing. I'm gonna tell you something about this dress you cannot see on camera. The ribbing here is some type of divine softness that it's just the most like, I just wanna do this. I just wanna to touch the fabric constantly. It is so luxe looking, but it is just as comfortable and soft as it is luxe looking. So this is a win for me. I don't even care how it looks with my leggings. I don't care because it is so comfortable. And I, I would reach for this. I am gonna reach for this over and over again, which is saying a lot because it's also cream, which is my mortal enemy when it comes to colors because your girl likes to spill, but obsessed. Okay, I think she looks pretty in this. However, for me, it's too tight on her. It's just, it's showing every lump and bump. It shows the line where her compression stockings are. I'm sure even without those, it would show the line of her underwear, shows the line of her bra when she turns around. And it's just, I don't know, I feel like for someone who has so many outfits, 
I feel like she has much better options than this. I get that she said it's comfortable, which is important, but it's just, I just don't think it looks that good on her. This dress and kind of shirt combo I purchased because I'm really trying to look at reusability of clothing, both for myself and then just for other people. And I wanted to see if I could take a dress like this that is a little bit more, I would say dressy, but then find ways to dress it down and make it work for like different functions. So I grabbed this really cool button down. This is definitely giving like a vintage vibe. I love this kind of washed out maroon. It's very fun. And I figured I would just like tie this over top and see if I could make that work. So I've been watching the show Yellow Jackets and this really feels like something someone in their high school would have worn because it feels very much like a late 90s throwback. But I'm not mad at it. I kind of like it. I also kind of like this mock neck. And if you know my like very checkered past with sweater with turtlenecks and mock necks, I don't usually love them, but I kind of like this, especially with like the button down over. I think it, I think it's a vibe. I think it's a vibe. Let me know if you like it. I like it. But I, I generally wonder if other people will think I'm insane. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like it. I, I think on camera it looks okay, but I feel like in person it probably does not look right because it just, it doesn't go together to me. Like you have this nice dress that kind of looks like office wear and then you're just tying a button down shirt over it. Like I, it just, it doesn't go together. I would love to see her do the same thing with like the compression leggings and the dress, but maybe put like a sweater over it or a cute cardigan sweater. I think that would look nice, but this outfit is not doing it for me. This dress is the one thing in this haul that I have already worn. It's, I did have to buy it a size larger than I normally do because my hips are still swollen, but I just thought it was so cool. I love the idea of like a big shirt dress. And I especially like this because it does have, and now this is, might be a reason many of you hate it, but it's a reason I love it, that there are side slits because it allows my tights to feel like they were intentional. Like this was a piece you might normally wear with leggings. So uh, let me preface this. I already worn this and I already love it. It needs a belt. Without the belt, it's a little shapeless around the waist. But as soon as you start to like just do that, so much better. So please don't judge it for being beltless. Just know that with a belt, mwah, chef's kiss. Let me show you like a little video. It's from that Paging Doctor B trend. You can see with a belt, it's just perfection. Okay, well, it is better with a belt. It's just not my style. I don't like it. It's giving total Grandpa Joe vibes. I don't think it's flattering. It looks comfortable, but I feel like as soon as she goes to sit down, the buttons are going to gape and possibly pop off and take out an eye. So this one's a no for me. This, I, I hate this. <laughs> The next look is a little bit of an unusual color combo for me. So it really started with this camel jacket. And I just think this is like phenomenal. It is a traditional like dress coat kind of material. You would get like a camel long coat, but it's in a bomber. And so what I paired it with was just a simple rib knit tee in this bright pink. Cause I feel like I love just like the little bit of clash that comes from this, like they're both earth tones, but it still feels like, it feels a little naughty. It feels disrespectful, which I like, cause I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel in earth tones, said no one ever. And then I paired it with a skirt that is very similar to the dress we had earlier, but in a skirt form. This color combination, it's just like a little off, but in like the best way possible. That's the only way that I can describe it. I find it so satisfying. This jacket is a super big win. It's it like looks fancy, but it's still just a bomber cut. And then these are both rib knits, so they're very comfortable. And this is like, you know, I love a good thing that feels like a pajama. So yeah, this is a win for me. I think it look cool. I think this is what a cool person would wear. <laughs> it's what I'm wearing, so I must be cool. Okay, I do like the color combo. I think that looks nice together. It's giving very pumpkin spice vibes. <laughs> very nice for fall. I don't think that the jacket and the skirt go together though. I just, I think that the jacket would go better with like jeans and the skirt would look nicer with just the top, the pink top. But I mean, it's okay. I don't hate it. I just, I just don't feel like it goes together well. This last look is my favorite. I already know I'm going to love it. I don't even need to try it on because it's just, 
it's perfect basics. And I've already worn the bodysuit and the bodysuit slaps. So I already know that like one third of this outfit is fantastic, but let's start with the pants. God bless the stretchy waistband. God bless pin tucking. I'm so glad this is like back. And then we talk about the body yaddy yaddy suit, which is this just, I've already worn it like literally two or three times. And over it, one of my favorite fall colors, this beautiful mustard yellow cardigan. And who doesn't love just like a big chunky cardigan with, you know, like grandpa buttons. The only thing that would make this like a little bit better for me is if it had those like pockets like right here, then I would like really like be obsessed with this cardigan. I think the cardigan is cool. It's well-made, but it's missing those sweet, sweet pockets that I just want so dearly. So I actually really like this. I love it because it's simple, right? You can take a houndstooth pant and then like this black bodysuit and then just throw a colored cardigan over to give it a little bit more life. I'm definitely not a neutral girly, but because I'm not buying as many clothing as I usually do because my body is changing so rapidly, things like this make me feel a little bit more true to myself while also giving me pieces that I can wear over and over and over. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep the pants because I think they look super good. Um, probably the bodysuit and the cardigan too. This is, this is just a fire look. It's just a fire look. Okay, this outfit I love. I don't know if it's because it's my personal style or if it's just a great outfit in general, but I think it looks great. The pants are super tight on her, but that's to be expected with Anna. She, that's just how she wears her pants. But yeah, at the same time, they're still pretty flattering on her. I just, I think she looks great. She looks cute. She looks put together. This one's a winner, complete winner for me. So that's the end of the two try-on hauls. I would love to hear what you guys think. What looks did you love? What looks did you hate? I have to say the very last look was my favorite. I just think she looked so good in it. My least favorite is definitely <laughs> the grandpa nightgown dress. I just, oh God, I, it's, I hated it. I hated everything about it. But make sure you tell me all of your thoughts down in the comments. I love reading them and hearing what you guys think. Don't be afraid to disagree with me. I know everyone has their own style and it's completely okay if we don't agree on what we like. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And again, don't forget to leave me a comment down below.